this evil king that did not know Joseph, and he came up and he wanted to kill all the Hebrew baby boys in that region, just like Herod right? And then he had a miraculous birth. He was put down in that that basket and sealed, and he was put in the Nile. And who was it that watched over him? It was Miriam, his sister Miriam. Well, that's where we get the name Mary. Mary derives from that name. Isn't that amazing? And then look at this. He keeps going. So then he was a prince, and he humbled himself. He went down from the palace to his own people, he, the Hebrew people, and he was with them. He humbled himself, went with him, them, and he tried to protect them, right? He, he killed the taskmaster that was beating on his fellow Hebrew man, and then he killed him, and then he hid his body, but then later he goes over to two Israelites who were fighting with each other, and one of them says to him, who made you prince and king over us? Because he was trying to break up the fight, saying, hey, you're brothers. And then he says that to them, and what happens? He flees, he leaves, and he goes off to a far land, to the Gentile land. And there he sees seven daughters of a Gentile shepherd, seven daughters there, and these evil shepherds were harassing him there, and he, and he, he uh, protected them and had the evil shepherds, drove the evil shepherds away. Seven Gentile women. How many churches are in the book of Revelation? Seven. The menorah was the picture of the church, right? The seven golden lampstands are the seven churches. And Jesus is watching over them. So then what happens? He gets he marries one, one Gentile bride, and he shepherds the Gentile flock in the Gentile land for many, many years. And then what happens? Suddenly, God, unexpectedly, God the Father calls him to go back to do what? Back to Egypt, which is a type of the world. To do what? To save Israel. To save Israel during a time of great trouble. Wow. (laughs) And those plagues, you guys, in the book of Exodus that we're going to look at with Joseph, those same plagues are described also in the book of Revelation. Also in the book of Revelation, we see that the Hebrew people, the the 144,000 Jewish people that are saved, They sing a new song that only they knew and only that Jesus knows, Yeshua knows. And they also sing the song of Moses in the revelation, in the tribulation period, near the end of it. It's pretty amazing stuff, guys. So Moses, Moshe, if you're in Israel, and Yeshua, Jesus, right? How they compare. I'm so excited that we're going to be going through this together. And this is just an overview. Episode one's coming up. You don't want to miss it. So hey, so you don't miss anything, hit this button right here, uh, the subscribe button, but also hit this playlist right here, How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament. You can go back and look at how Joseph, we just went through that, all the different, we had 17 parts to that, how Joseph was a picture of Jesus, and there's many, much, much more. So hey, hit this playlist right here, my friend.